hello everyone and welcome to the channel in this video we are going to have a look at a brand new project called as mind search the project looked quite promising and interesting it has been created by intern lm and we already have covered a lot of models by them and the models were quite good in terms of quality of responses so i'm hoping that this project mind search would be the same mind search is an open source AI search engine framework with Perplexity Pro performance. You can simply deploy it with your own Perplexity.ai style search engine with either closed source LLMs like GPT, Claude, and even some of the hosted ones like Untu, or you can use it with open source LLMs like Intern LM 2.5 Several Billion Chat. So in this video, we are going to install it locally and then I will be using a local model which is intern LM 2.5 7 billion chat. You can replace it easily with any model of your choice, uh, but I'm just going to go with that one. One point to note is that it, this is bilingual, so it works both in Chinese and English. And this model intern LM 2.5 7 billion is more optimized for Chinese. Okay, now what you can do with this project? With this one, you can ask everything you want to know. It is designed to solve any questions in your life and use web knowledge. So that's pretty tall claim from their GitHub repo and we will see how it works. MindSearch browses hundreds of web pages to answer your question, providing deeper and wider knowledge base answer. MindSearch also exposes all the details, enabling user to check everything they want. This greatly improves the credibility of its final response as well as usability. For example, if you go to their project page and look at this one, primarily it is, seems that it is just using DAG or direct acyclical graph based approach where it is creating some initial node in the graph and then it is adding node and its edges or relationships as it progresses through it. It also provides all kinds of interfaces for user. For example, you can create a front end with React, a Gradio, Streamlit, and Terminal. I'm going to go with Gradio. MindSearch also decomposes the user's query into atomic sub-questions as nodes in the graph and progressively extends the graph based on the search result from the web searcher. And there is a lot of other information which you can check out from their GitHub repo and I will drop the link in video's description. Before I show you the installation, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPU. So do check them out. This is my Ubuntu 22.04 system and this is my GPU card NVIDIA RDX A6000 with 48 GP of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. Let's create a Conda environment, which will give us a virtual environment to play around with this to without disturbing everything else on my system. Should not take too long. And that is done. Now let's git clone the repo mind search and step into it. That is done. And now let's install all the requirements. Let me paste it here. And now let's wait for it to create everything. Took fair bit of time, but everything is installed now. Let me clear the screen and now let's initialize our backend. I'm simply using this mind search app, which we have um, cloned the repo and then language is English. If you want Chinese, just replace EN with CN model is intern LM underscore server. You can even use GPT-4. So just replace intern lm underscore server with gpt4 but you would also need to set your open ai's api key in the environment so let me run it and you can see that the backend is now started here so i will leave this window let me open another terminal window and we will go and uh, start our front end there and in order to start the front end all you need to do is to th give this command and I'm going to use the Gradio one. And as soon as I have run it, you can see that this is our Gradio interface. Very, um, I should say, uh, rudimentary, but that is fine. 
let's try to run some queries i'm just going to ask it who is fahad mirza let's press enter and okay there is no enter so maybe i'll just click on submit here it is but doing something let's wait for it and you see the first time i have run it it is downloading the model which is in turn lm so first time it is going to take bit of a time thankfully my speed is quite good today so if i go back to credit demo it has errored out because it is still downloading the model so let's wait for it i just wanted to show you something if i just go up here so this is my query current query uh, who is fahad mirza what is the general information about fahad mirza it has did the post um, http request and then you see from some wikipedia article it has gathered information about it's not me by the way but someone with similar name it has gathered the information so if i go back to my gradio one it is still erroring out so maybe i'll just reload it let's try to ask it again who is Fahad Mirza, the AI you viewer? Well, I like to call that myself. There you go, you see, now it is working. And then it is saying that let's start by searching for his basic detail. It has created a graph with initial node. And look at on the right hand side, how cool is that? Let me make it slightly bigger. Okay, much better so you see um i'm not sure what this chinese is but looks beautiful anyway you see uh, it is creating some nodes and then it is giving me the i'm sorry here on the left hand side how good is that oh my goodness i didn't even know that about myself so this is really awesome really good stuff really really good stuff so you see on the left hand side we have this planner so on the right hand side we have this searcher so this plans it which means that it uh, takes entities it creates a graph nodes creates a relationship or edges between them builds the whole graph step by step and with each step on the searcher searches it returns it back so it is a multi-agent framework both of these agents are talking with each other searching planning searching planning and then moving forward and then planner gives me the uh, final answer here so this is a really good stuff and very very impressive internal really impressive simple does one thing and uh, does it very nicely all local on your system and searching the web you don't have to worry about all the function calling and tool usage so i think i'm very very happy with it let's try to see some other questions like um maybe i'll say i am planning a trip to western sydney from september one to september 10th this year i will be flying from let's say beijing give me full itinerary and tips about or and plan my trip let's see what it does and i'll just okay so let's go here you see again in it is going to uh, it has divided the task into similar steps and create a search graph to gather the necessary information let's identify the flights available from beijing to sydney during your travel dates and look here let me go down there oh my goodness wow beautiful there you go so you see to find the available flights i need to look for a self result and then there are some analysis it has given the response back to the planner flights are done now it is going with accommodation if i go in, so these are the accommodations here 
currently using Bing browser, it seems. Cool. There you go. Crown Plaza. And these are all Sydney accommodations here. How good is that? With the accommodation option of this is done and now it is moving on to activities and attractions there you go Salura gardens urban botanical gardens and then and then it is just focusing on september activities good stuff that's good I haven't been to this Kasula powerhouse art center. I think I will check it out. And there you go. See, now the planner is giving you the whole itinerary with accommodation, with the activities day by day, what to do in morning, afternoon, and evening. There you go. How good is that? How good is that? So, look, guys, I think I am very impressed by it, and I'm more than sure you will be the same. I will drop the link to it in video description now you know how to install it and how to play around with it how it works give it a go let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching